crowds rallied together downtown calling for reparations for the black community. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell shows us how this was part of a larger movement across the country. Rallies were held in six different states today and what organizers are calling the March for Reparations to African people. San Diego was the backdrop for one of them. They gathered at the waterfront wearing masks with signs in hand. Among the crowd is Wendy Craig, who is part of the Uhuru Solidarity Movement, the group that organized the rally. She says they're calling on people to do more acting and less talking. Do a call out to white people to say it's not, it's not enough to say, you know, that you're, you support, you know, black power. You really have to take a material stand of solidarity and you have to turn over the stolen resources. Wendy says many people that registered to participate in this event also raised money towards a collective reparations goal. She says there's been an increase in involvement this year, which she believes is attributed to current events. Four years ago when we, we organized a march for reparations, we did not have a lot of success. But that shift through the George, uh, George Floyd protests with Breonna Taylor, with everything that's been happening, that shift has really brought a lot of unity to, to what we're doing. Collectively, this organization had set a goal of raising $20,000. Wendy says they've surpassed that and will continue to raise money for the reparations fund. Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.